Hi everybody, it's Savannah. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Savannah. Over this past week, Rakesh has been encouraging me to change the dirty blinds in our kitchen, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. He believes I can do it, so I'm going to have faith that I can do it, and I'm gonna take the camera along for the ride with me today as we figure out these kitchen blinds. <laughs> So this is the part here that's that was giving me a hard time. It's um, still giving me a hard time. It's a little bracket clamp here. I just got that one down. So I'm going to work on this one. The guy on the YouTube video I watched said to use a flathead screwdriver. I am just using a butter knife. Yeah, so I'm going to take that down right now. Okay, now I'm gonna try to pop this one out. I hope it says, Easy as the other one was, but we'll see. It's never easy, is it? <laughs> I wonder if I can just slide it out from here now that I have the other one open. to just get it all down. It's very dirty. We just moved into this house. So we're hopefully getting it to cleaner ones. I don't know if you can tell, but this is really dirty. Yeah, you can see the color. It's uh, yeah, pretty gross. And I've tried to clean them, hand scrub them, even vacuum, which is ridiculous, I know. But we're hoping to find some nice ones that we'll be able to put up here and then shorten it all. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this bottom piece here. We have to remove these things. No clue what they're called, but I have five of them. They just pop out. I'm still using that butter knife. It's getting a lot of extra use. And our goal is to remove the dirty ones, as you can see, and replace it with clean ones that we can find on here because whoever lived in this house before us, it was, they didn't clean it. And I've tried and it's not working. So we're gonna change them out, shorten it and just make it work. Yeah, okay. I'll pop out these last couple. Okay. Yeah, so now what? <laughs> How do these come out of here? I think I'm gonna have to cut them. Okay, now I have all of my five pieces. I'm gonna put them on the table so I don't lose them because I lose things all the time. So I think now, yeah, you just kind of pull these out. 
And now you can remove this piece here. Okay, that's removed. I think I'm gonna be cleaning that. And I unfortunately have to take out all of these. I have to take the, the pulling string out from all of them and slide all the slats out. So I'll do that and I'll... Okay, so here's where I'm currently at. I have all the slats removed. And it wasn't as hard as I thought, but I think this next part is gonna be a little more. The thing that I'm worried about the most is that these are the dirty ones. Like you can, you can tell like this is what it's supposed to look like. That's what it is. Need to go. These are the clean ones. These are the only clean ones. And this is like the, the debatable one that I'm going to leave at the end. Like if I need it, cause it's half kind of dirty, mainly clean kind of thing. So yeah, this is the progress report and I will show you when it's done. So all the clean ones are put on. I hope it's enough. I hope it's long enough. Yeah, so the next step is gonna be measuring to see how many, how high I need it for the window behind me. And then I'll be cutting some of these pieces off here. He always, the guy in the video said to leave a little bit of them just for insurance. And then I'll put this piece back on that I cleaned up. Pop the holes, put, put the string back in these holes, pop the things back on, and put the blind back up. So I will let you know how that goes. I'm going to bring them over, I'm going to see how it all goes, and then we'll start cutting. So I think it's best to leave, what I've read is it's best to leave three. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll uh, leave three. Oh, the next part is to put the cord that pulls the that pulls the blinds up through these tiny holes let me show you tiny holes like this I've already done one for practice I have a pair of scissors that has an end small enough to fit into those holes so that's what I'm going to do now Now, to knot it, shove it all back in and put the, put those caps back on. So I did it. I did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so proud of myself, actually. Like that is so I'm that's just so cool. I never thought I would 
I don't know, do something like this? Like, I, I figured, like, I probably could have done it before. Like, YouTube is a life savior for helping. But, like, this is, this is so cool that I did this and I get to look at this every day. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So this is it. It's like, it's perfect. There's no overlap and there's no dirt. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. There's some because I had it on the floor, but it's, it's not stuck to it. I can clean it. Oh, I did it. Now I just have to put the, the little curtain back up and the, the little, um, thing that covers the fact that there's the metal part there for the blinds. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll, yeah, show you the finished, finished look. But this is so awesome. I'm gonna have Rakesh do this stuff, the cutting of these and, but I think this part is, this part's good. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Okay, cool. Here it is, the final product. I put the thing back up and the curtain. Oh, it looks so good, I'm so proud. Okay, thanks for watching my journey on this. I know it wasn't crazy exciting, but it was fun to document.